What the f What is this game? Who even made it? Oh, Flare Software, you know, those guys. With their most well-known hit of Dangerous Streets on the Amiga, also considered to be one of the worst games of all time. Which makes sense, because Oscar is one of the worst platformers I've ever played. Why did I play this? Why does it exist? What the hell is Oscar even supposed to be? He's some kind of rodent creature with his eyebrows going Super Saiyan. I know he's got plenty of that 90s attitude. You can tell because his hat is backwards. So what exactly is Oscar? According to the title screen, he's just Oscar. That's the game's answer, complete with period at the end. The story of Oscar is that he's stuck in a movie theater or something and he has to travel into four different movie scenes. There's only one rule in this movie theater, and it's ball. This does allow you to take on levels in any order you wish, which can be useful since some are easier than the others. They're each themed after different movie styles. Level 1 is prehistoric, 2 is horror, 3 is the cartoon level, and 4 is western themed. Let's start with level 1. Hey guys, take 69. <laughs> Excuse me? Uh... The whole point of each stage is not to get to the end, but to explore it and collect a set number of... Oscars. The Oscars are basically smaller versions of Oscar. And every time Oscar collects an Oscar, the Oscar says... Thanks, everybody. Oh, I see what's happening here. You're playing as Oscar. The game is movie themed. When you pick up an Oscar, it says... Thanks, everybody. The whole thing is about the Oscars! Except making a sprite of this cost too much money. It's like they didn't even try. Thanks, Speaking of not trying, this music. I know I said this game is a platformer, but I don't think that's really appropriate. The challenge in the game isn't about making difficult jumps or reaching the end. But really, I don't know what else to call it, especially since the platforming sucks so bad. Nothing mechanically is placed together to make something cohesive and fluid. Jumping as you go up and down at the exact same speed, rather than having momentum. And this camera? might be the worst thing about this game. It whips back and forth every time you tap in that direction. This makes everything disorienting and you easily lose your sense of placement. Especially when trying to do something as simple as jump on an enemy. Just trying to land on him is vomit inducing. And he moves around so fast, not holding a run button or anything. Oscar's zero to 60 speed would make Sonic the Hedgehog jealous. The game's own rules aren't consistent. Some platforms you can jump through, others you can't, even though they look exactly the same. Add to that the camera that's all over the place, and you can get why this game is so frustrating. All they had to do was slow Oscar down and move him to the center of the camera, and the game's two major issues would be solved. Not that doing so would make this game good. If you can get even a remote sense of how sucky this controls just from watching it, imagine how it is with the controller in your hands. It's awful. I hate it. While running around on stages, you're constantly collecting crap. The collectibles are vaguely themed after their stage. And every time you pick something up, it explodes into stars, adding even more visual chaos. Sometimes the stars will also be additional power-ups. One of them is this ball thingy. It lets you do this. I can't figure out what this is. At first I thought it was a yo-yo since he's wielding one in the intro screen, but this, this isn't a yo-yo. I don't know what it is. And there's no sound effect to give any kind of glue, so it just feels hollow. At least having an attack to kill dudes makes the game easier. Nope, still dying everywhere. It's cool though, guys. I got the checkpoint elephant. The game itself isn't hard. I died a lot because it's so hard to control that you die all the time from things you didn't see coming. Either pitfalls or instant death spikes or enemies from out of nowhere. Even with being able to take three hits before death, you'll die frequently because of all the... There are no continues. There are no continues! I could get past stage two! There are no continues! Can I leave yet? I'd like to leave, please. There are other power-ups besides the pink goo slappy orb thing. There's a spring that makes you jump higher and wings that let you straight up fly to nothing because all of the stages are horizontal. You can also get a ball and chain that slows you down by a lot. In any other game, this would suck. 
but an Oscar? This is great! Just slowing his movement speed down to this makes the game so much more manageable. This should be his normal speed. Joke's on you, developers! Your stupid power down is the best thing you could get. Did I say that was the best thing? Because the best power up is definitely the Game Boy. It makes everything green. That's it. The absolute worst power up is the invisibility potion. It makes you vanish completely. You cannot, repeat, cannot tell where you are when you're invisible. Even if you think you know where you are, the camera will make sure you don't. And you still get hurt by enemies. You might as well be flailing around with your eyes closed. And the worst part, the worst part about getting the invisibility potion is that it gets rid of whatever other power-up you already had. Had the springy weapon giving you some semblance of a chance at this game? Now you've got nothing! And you are nothing! And yet you still get hurt by everything! Why would you give me this game? Why would you do this? It took several game over screens, but I finally figured out how you're supposed to beat this game. All the random crap you pick up actually does something aside from make it rain stars. These are worth points. You wouldn't know that while collecting them because it doesn't show you getting any points. Your score is hidden away, and the only way to see it is to complete this stage. So at the time, picking them up feels arbitrary because there is no noticeable effect. For the longest time, I didn't bother getting these because they had no visible impact. So why should I? Well, it turns out they're pretty much required if you want to beat this game. Since they give you points, you earn extra lives between stages based on your points. This is integral to playing this game. You're going to need every single life you could possibly get because you die all the goddamn time. I eventually had so many lives that the life counter stayed at 9 and wouldn't go down. I'd estimate having at least 16. And I needed every single one for this game. Did they not realize that's a problem? That was their solution. That's how they solved the massive bullshit difficulty in this game. By making it so that the players get so many lives, death doesn't matter anymore. Beating the game is no longer a challenge, it's an inevitability. That isn't fun! You know what else isn't fun? F***ing dying all the time! That doesn't feel good! It makes the player feel dumb, frustrated, and makes him question his life decisions. That last part might be just me. You can also collect letters to spell bonus to enter a bonus stage where you collect more crap for extra points. It's super short and deceptively small. It basically divides the entire stage up and you can only play a small portion of it on each bonus round. It'll get you a few more lives between stages. Getting so many lives does make the game beatable, thank god, but it isn't a proper solution. What'd you just say to me? It doesn't fix what is fundamentally broken. The game plays like ass and is way too hard to control, rather than tweaking the gameplay itself, for example by slowing things down. They basically applied a band-aid to a brain tumor. The root of the problem is the game design itself, and giving a slew of extra lives won't make that fun. Why would anyone bother collecting so many extra lives if doing so sucks in the first place? Is this a crack in the wall? Or is there some poopy on this table? With all the extra lives that I got, I was able to slowly beat each stage, since the amount of little Oscars you found stays after death. I basically kept throwing Oscar's corpse at them until I did it. And I did! I beat all three parts of each dumb level. I got past all the dinosaurs on roller skates, and chainsaws, and pissed off butterflies, and horse asses, and I beat all of them. So we get to leave now, right? Can we see the ending? My final rating for this game is a f you out of 10. Everything about this game works against the player. The controls are bizarre, the momentum is weird, and Oscar moves around way too fast for players to comprehend what's happening. Some of the power-ups do nothing but make things worse for you. The biggest offense really is the camera that zips back and forth all the time. This, alongside graphics that make enemies blend in with the environment, makes death something you need to accept. And that's dumb. Its platforming is inconsistent, primarily because of some ground you can jump through and others you can't without any distinguishing feature. Even with all the extra lives you get, the abrupt ending is one final giant middle finger right on your screen. And you know what the worst part about Oscar is? They tried to bring him back. Four.
times. In 2010, this game was re-released for Nintendo DSiWare as Oscar in Movie Land, and then they ported a Trolls game over and replaced the Trolls with Oscar as Oscar in Toyland. And then they made two more all-new Oscar games with Oscar in Toyland 2 and Oscar's World Tour. And I know what you're wondering. And no, I never will. Thank you so very much for watching, and if you enjoyed that, please subscribe! It's only a few easy clicks for you. If you want more instant Pro Jared updates, be sure to follow me on Twitter or on Facebook. And if you want to see me talk about a good game, watch me pour my heart out on Chrono Trigger. I seriously gush about it for like 20 minutes. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> oh, God. I hope that worked on camera. Oh, boy. <laughs> I don't want to do that again. <laughs> or do I? <laughs> so this is why I have multiple shirts. <laughs>